The spiritual veil is thinning. In this video, I'm going to explain what that means and what you can do to start to gain access to what previously lied beyond the spiritual veil. It is making itself known to you right now as we speak. Are you aware of it? That's the question. When we talk about the spiritual veil, I see it as a, we could call it the veil of forgetfulness, meaning that you are so focused or grounded into this body and are living your life from the human being perspective that you forget that you are a connection of a multidimensional being. You are a multidimensional being. You are source energy. You have just forgotten that, albeit temporarily, but the experience that you're having is one of separation. You are essentially cut off. So when we're born here, we're so focused externally onto this physical environment, this physical reality, that we turn away from everything that is really not a match to that, meaning more things that are more energetic, that don't really manifest as physical. They kind of fall off the radar. They are out of our existence. And we're doing that by choice. That's an unconscious choice, right? Because when we're born, we're so reliant on our parents we can't do anything as a baby, right? We're the one species that can't do nothing, zip, zilch. When we're born as a baby, we need 100% outside support. Therefore, we are so focused into this three-dimensional field that we start to lose touch or forget that we're energetic, limitless beings. We're multidimensional. So that creates this spiritual veil that essentially makes it seem like we're blocked off from all of that. But if you're going through an awakening, you've gone through an awakening, or even if you're just starting to realize that, you know, there's something deep within that tells me there's got to be more to life than what I can see or what I can experience through my five senses, then you are starting to awaken to the fact that there is life, there is energy, there is an existence beyond the spiritual veil. Now, if you believe in life after death, you obviously believe that something happens beyond this physical realm. When you die, you go somewhere else, right? So that is the spiritual veil. Now, that veil is starting to lift, and it's starting to lift not because of some external mechanism. It's starting to lift because you are grounding and anchoring more of your higher frequency energy, your divine light, right here, right now. Therefore, you are literally becoming less particle and more energy. Therefore, you are starting to become a match to things that are more energetic and less physical. That involves your guides, your intuition, your higher self, your star guides, all the ETs, right? Multidimensional beings, even deceased relatives, deceased loved ones. So as you become more energetic, meaning you've grounded and anchored more of your light, you're vibrating faster you are starting to resonate to higher frequency realities, higher dimensional fields, maybe the higher fourth dimensional field, maybe even the fifth dimensional field or higher, you are starting to be able to process and perceive experiences from those realities. So if you think of the spiritual veil, it's like a layer of clouds, thick clouds, right? You're now starting to pick your head up or peek them up above the clouds, okay? You're starting to look around up there and be like, wow, I thought the clouds represented the ceiling, right? Now you're up above the clouds. You get to experience a whole new reality you can see in the space. You can see all the stars. You can see all sorts of things out there that maybe you weren't aware of before because they were obscured by a thick blanket of clouds. Think of that as a spiritual veil. But you have awareness now that you can go above the clouds, right? So you're starting to be able to experience the energy that resides in the higher dimensional fields. It's not like it's being brought in. It's not like something externally is happening. You are creating this because you are increasing your vibration. You're vibrating faster, meaning you are resonating with higher frequency realities. It is all happening because of what you are doing, meaning that you have made a choice to alchemize the dense energy, the traumas, all the things that were keeping you tied to a three-dimensional timeline, you have chosen to finally feel that energy, that density, 
the fear, the anxiety, the stress, the fight or flight. You've decided to become present with it. You've detached from it. You realize that, that that's not who I am. Those are just experiences represented by energy that has been stored in the body. I'm going to sit and allow myself to feel that fear and feel that anxiety when it comes up and I'm not going to identify with the story, right? When the story tries to pull me in, I'm going to bring it back to my body. I'm going to breathe and I'm going to create some space and bring forward that awareness that I am an energetic being and this is just dense energy that is coming up to be rejoined with my divine light. As you continue to cultivate that mindset, you will be able to grab this energy that's been offline for you for all these years because you've at some point said you don't want to process it, bring it up into your awareness, bring it up into your field, and bring it back into the love, bring it back into the heart, reclaim all of this energy. When you do that, your vibration rises, it increases. And when that increases, you start to resonate to higher frequency realities, meaning that energy starts to be perceived by you. Your third eye lights up, right? Maybe you start to get into your gut, your solar plexus a little bit more. And you're like, okay, I'm now a lot clearer, so I'm able to start to perceive my guidance. My intuition's coming through. I'm starting to feel love, the loving being that I am, right? I'm starting to speak my truth more, but I'm perceiving this here. And I'm starting to see things that are energetic. Maybe I'm seeing orbs. Maybe I'm seeing auras around people, around trees, around objects. That is because you are becoming more energetic and less particle, meaning you are not as anchored to a 3D physical timeline as you were before. You're resonating now and are able to perceive a fourth and fifth dimensional reality that more energy is simply available. It's less physical and more energetic. So your reality is starting to become a little less physical and a little more energetic. Maybe your guides are starting to manifest for you. Maybe you're not seeing them yet, but you're starting to perceive them. The information's getting through because you've processed all that heavy density. So now it can move through your central channel and get up into your brain and you can now start to perceive the guidance of your guides. Maybe deceased relatives are stepping forward for you. Maybe you're experiencing synchronicities now, okay? These little nuggets, little breadcrumbs throughout your day. Maybe you're seeing 11.11 on the clock or 4.44. You're hearing a song that triggers something, brings something forward in you that is incredibly meaningful, right? Just amazing things start to happen because you are more present, vibing at a higher rate, and the veil is thinning for you. That is what is available to you in the here and now. The energy is fully supportive of that. We've got all this amazing divine light streaming in to our experience, just waiting to be grounded and anchored into your physical body. And as you can do that, all of the information that that light carries becomes perceivable. You can perceive it. You can actually experience it it manifests in your field. So if you're cultivating an emotion of abundance and you're feeling it and you're becoming it and you're resonating that, your experience will start to reflect abundance, right? This is energetic, less in the physical old 3D timelines, more present in the energetic timelines where everything's moving so much Faster, We don't have to grind away for hours and days and months and years to bring something forward because we're now moving energetically, moving faster. A mere thought starts that manifestation. If you're aligned with abundance, it's going to come. If you're feeling like you're connected to your guides, you'll start to experience your guides. This is a truly amazing time. That veil is continuing too thin because you have decided to do the work, to get present, to heal the density, and raise your vibration. That is going to continue to drive this ascension process forward. Sure, there are going to be times when you're experiencing the heaviness, 
and the ascension symptoms, that's part of the journey. Stay centered, stay in your heart, stay in your root, stay anchored in your body. Allow yourself to feel these emotions. Don't distract yourself from them. That only puts them off to some future time. Allow yourself to get present with them, feel them, bring it into the heart space. Your vibration will increase and your reality will start to reflect one that is in alignment with higher frequencies. All the stuff that was beyond the spiritual veil is now becoming available to you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if this video resonated, watch this one next. Thank you so much.